is innovative. His mind is always working. But he's also willing to admit when he's wrong. Like wanting a comic like Pat Henry to open for him when he addresses the joint session of Congress. <laughs> and he realized, speak to Congress, the real comics are in the audience. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. I'm pleased to be here tonight, honoring my very dear friend, Frank Sinatra. I must say that when this program was being planned, the producer hadn't decided what political figures would participate. It was a choice between me and Governor Brown, and I lost again. <laughs> Seriously, this is Frank Sinatra's night, and I'm here out of gratitude. Frank worked for me in all my campaigns. He was with me all the way to the governor's mansion. Without his help, who knows? I might have been president. <laughs> it's my considered opinion that the two gentlemen who flanked me would make quite a political ticket. Frank is president. Dean is his crawling mate. <laughs> Frank Sinatra make a good president? Well, let's look at the facts. He has many friends, and I'm sure he'd appoint only the most qualified to his cabinet. Who better than Sammy Davis Jr., the Secretary of Health, Education, and Jewelry? <laughs> of course, in politics, there's always gossip and ugly rumors. I'm happy to expose one for the falsehood that it is. He has not granted a Pizza Hut franchise at Camp David. It'll be in the White House, where it belongs. <laughs> Frank Sinatra will make a president who is strong on defense. But again, we'll have concern for humanity. Scientists at his urging have developed an intercontinental ballistics missile that is not a weapon of mass destruction. It only hits photographers. <laughs> him what he thought of the energy bill. He didn't hesitate a second. He said, pay it. <laughs> Frank is innovative. His mind is always working. But he's also willing to admit when he's wrong. Like wanting a comic like Pat Henry to open for him when he addresses the joint session of Congress. <laughs> and he realized, speak to Congress, the real comics are in the audience. <laughs> any trouble with Congress, they'll pass all the legislation he sends over just to get his autograph. <laughs> and he'll settle that canal business, too. Panama wants a canal, he'll give them Venice. <laughs> well, you probably gathered by now, I think Frank Sinatra would make a fine president. But I don't know whether we can get him to run. Is it worth it if you have to give up being a king? <laughs>